everyone, this is Sangeeta back again and uh, today I'm going to be making um, a sika pinni or flaxseed laddus. So for that I have here the golden roasted uh, flaxseed. Uh, this is actually already roasted but um, I'm going to dry roast it again because I like to get out the nutty flavor there. It's a very simple... Oops, I'm going to be... It's about a little over a cup of... Uh, flaxseed and um, once you open it you, it has to be stored in the refrigerator so that's a little over a cup of uh, flaxseed and it's just uh, four ingredients flaxseed or uh, ghee and uh, sugar uh, and um, almonds so uh, you can totally omit the almonds uh, they're just there for the extra crunch uh, and that's it. Just roast it uh, for about uh, five minutes or, to or so till you get the, the nutty flavor out. And then grind it, add some sugar and uh, freshly made ghee and uh, almonds and uh, form laddus. It's, it's a very simple uh, recipe. So I'm going to be roasting this uh, for about five minutes or so. So uh, you can hear the popping noise there. So you have to hear the popping noise before you... There before you actually turn off the stove. So it's about uh, five to seven minutes, no more than that. Uh, and uh, wait for it to cool down a little bit. And uh, like you can see, there's the glossiness there, that's the fat. So uh, flax seeds uh, have a lot of uh, fats in them, like naturally occurring fats. So, and, they, and they're good for you. And plus they have a lot of fiber. So let me turn this off now. And I'm going to uh, wait for it to cool down before I uh, powder it in the blender. Uh, so I ground up the um, flax seeds after uh, dry roasting them and um, I've added equal amount uh, of uh, granulated sugar. Um, uh, I got about um, a cup uh, and three quarters of uh, the ground uh, flax seed and I've added an equal amount of uh, sugar. What you could do is you could add uh, jaggery or uh, if you don't want to have any of that, you could um, just uh, chop up some dates and put it or um, uh, like any of those natural sweeteners would work too. I'm going to take out some and keep and on the rest I'm going to be adding some uh, dry uh, toasted slivered almonds because we have allergies in our family and you can't do that so i added about half a cup of ghee um uh, to the uh, flaxseed and sugar and uh, almond mixture and you really need not add too much ghee uh, because the flaxseed has enough uh, uh, fat in it so this is how you get it there it is so I've made, uh, like I've formed all the laddus, uh, the ones with the nuts, as well as the ones without the nuts. So uh, for the quantity that I mentioned earlier on um, in the uh, video, um, so I've gotten about 15 of those really big laddus. As you can see, they're pretty big. You can eat this instead of breakfast. That's what like we usually do in the winter months. Like we would just pop one instead of breakfast. And uh, uh, when I try to eat it for breakfast, what I do is I don't put sugar. I would just put some dates and uh, make it a little healthier. And uh, this is just like an um, amazing uh, snack to have during the winter months because um, flaxseed does produce a lot of uh, heat and uh, you will be able to um, control uh, your body temperature a little bit better um, and uh, please try making it and uh, comment uh, um, how it uh, turned out thanks once again for watching the making of alsika pinni or flax seed ladoos please like subscribe and share and let me know what i can make next thank you